The last part of operations management is we need to consider some corporate social responsibility issues. So some possible exam questions could be, define the term corporate social responsibility. Describe how the stakeholders of the business pressure it to conduct its operations in an ethical and socially responsible manner. Describe, explain or outline the CSR issues a business should consider for each element of its operation system within inputs, transformation and outputs. And lastly, discuss, evaluate or analyze the impact of implementing CSR within the operation system. So CSR, tough definition, could be two marks. It was a few years ago. It's the commitment by the business to go above and beyond its legal obligations, conduct its business in an ethical manner, take responsibility for the consequences of its activities, and be accountable to a wide range of stakeholders, not just the shareholders. We're not just maximizing profits. We're doing good by employees, customers, local communities, etc. Then we have the stakeholders of the business and how they put CSR pressure on it. So for our employees, that could be to be paid fairly, good conditions, treated equi equitably, and to be provided with support and assistance when needed. Customers, they want, they want to buy products that benefit or don't harm society. So they don't want things that are toxic or bad for people. And they want products that are made in an ethical and socially responsible way. They also want businesses to treat their work as well. And maybe they want to be able to support social causes with their purchases. So whether business maybe donates a part of the sale to a charity, for example. Shareholders, they want profits and dividends, but they want it done from business activities that are ethical and socially responsible. They want the business to avoid scandals and controversies that come from doing the wrong thing. And they want, to, want the business to balance the returns they get to them from the profits, but also with the need to do the right thing by others. Then we get to the uh, local community. What do they want? They want the business to not damage the local environment. They want to provide. They want to have the business provide jobs for the local community, but also treat them in an ethical way. And they want the business to obey the laws in their area. Suppliers, they want the business to use suppliers that are ethical. They don't want the business just to go to the cheapest supplier and you know who might be unethical. And they also want the business to treat suppliers in an ethical and fair way. So no bullying, no cartels, that sort of thing. And lastly, the government. The government wants the business to pay the correct or fair amount of taxes in each country and not to minimise taxes by going, you know, taking them out of Australia. They want the business to work with the local government to provide jobs and support for local citizens. And they want the business to obey the laws of our country. Then we get to the operation system. We've got inputs, transformation, outputs. We just want to look at some possible CSR issues. There's many, but some possible ones are sustainable procurement within inputs. The business should buy sustainable materials from sustainable suppliers. They should also try and use local suppliers instead of foreign suppliers. Why? Two reasons. One, it creates jobs in Australia, but also everything that's got to get here to Australia, we're very far away, so it's got to come on a ship or a plane. That's a big carbon footprint, so we want to minimise that and just buy locally. And maybe we could also possibly use green energy, try and use solar or renewable energy rather than non-renewable energy. Within transformation, we want to make sure we minimise waste with lean management and also dispose of it in the correct way. It doesn't damage the environment. We want to recycle everything or reuse it where we can. And we want to treat workers ethically, um, not just by obeying the law, but being better than that. And not just in Australia, but in all the countries we operate in, in terms of like wages, maximum hours, etc. Outputs. We want to first of all sell a product that's ethical. That's the most obvious one. We don't want to have a product that damages the world or the environment. We want to make sure our wrapping and packaging is, you know, recyclable, but also customers can dispose of it easy. It's just, it's not, just not going to be plastic that gets thrown in landfill. And lastly, we want, we want to sell the product ethically with our marketing. And then we just need to finish with some advantages and disadvantages of CSR in our operations. So advantages are we reduce our waste, which lowers costs. We've got a good reputation, so we can use that to market our business to gain a competitive advantage. We avoid all scandals and penalties and fines from government, etc. And we can recruit employees because employees generally want to work for businesses that are ethical and socially responsible. However, there are some downsides. The cost of the operation system will go up because generally implementing CSR programs cost money, but also the inputs are usually more expensive. If you buy non-CSR uh, non inputs, you know, that might have bad chemicals in them, they're usually cheaper. And lastly, competitive disadvantage. What if customers don't care or notice or be willing to pay for a business that does the right thing and they'll just buy the cheapest? Well, then we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage by doing ethical or by acting ethically or socially responsibly.